is here at Homer and Homesteader down here at the PC Eden Homestead. In fact, I'm down in the very spot that Horatio termed Peace of Eden. This here is the quiet little brook that runs across the property and down into the river you see in some of our pictures and some of the Homer videos. And uh, I thought it was a good moment for me to reflect and uh, I guess we'll call this Homer's Loving Learning Life Lessons Living. Uh, been here hanging out on and off back and forth to Texas since about November and I'm getting ready to head down to Texas and stay long enough to keep my residency in order. Uh, do a little house remodeling down there. Probably won't be back here except for November 15th through the 30th, which many of you Michiganders will know why. Uh, but I'm going to be out of uh, the place and then uh, probably not back until early spring or uh, so next year. And I just thought I'd reflect on some of the things that I loved learning here at the Peace of Eden was have fun when you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Uh, don't uh, ever let yourself get too down. It's pretty easy to find the good side of things even when you're not happy about something. Sometimes I even got to look forward to I'm helping a particular set of people or individuals uh, even when I might be at odds with some of them. I can have fun doing some work uh, even though it might be a tough job to do or might have some be on the outs about some of the work that I'm doing that's not fun for me. Uh, so have fun doing what you're doing, whatever it is you got ahead of you. If it's really bad, as I had to remind one of my kiddos today, don't forget that it'll go by. This too shall pass if you're in a bad spot or it'll go by. Unfortunately, I've learned it also applies to good things as they also go by. So enjoy them while you can and don't forget the tough times pass as well. Uh, also out here, I've learned that a little patience sometimes goes a very long way. Uh, we got the garden started and I was really anxious to see it and I kept going to Texas and coming back and nothing was really happening and then this last time I came back and there were some amazing plants going in there. I got to thank the universe and nature and God for the rain because that really helped bring it on but also the little bit of work we did this spring and enriching the soil and building the beds up with some of the uh, leftovers from the chicken and a little bit of topsoil and sawdust all made some really nice growth beds for all of our plants and they're really taking off. I'll be sad to leave those behind and not be back here for the full harvest, but the snacks have been great along the way. Lots of great shard, collard greens, mustard green, or uh, excuse me, turnip greens, beet greens, a couple zucchini here and there. Pretty soon there's going to be so many that nobody will be able to eat them all. Uh, but it's great. I can see the pumpkins coming on. The tomatoes are just getting ready to ripen up and putting some nice tomatoes on so it's been uh practice and patience probably on two parts because down in texas you know we can start planting around march 15th and here in this part of michigan not till june 11th or so so there's a lot of patience waiting for that last frost date um and then also a lot of patience uh in the month or so that you got to wait until the plants start to really put it on and you know right at about 40 to 60 days when many plants start to produce and then it gets really exciting sad to miss most of that but I also enjoyed the ride and the patience coming along the way I'm also another life lesson that I'm loving learning out here and uh, coming here is it was a big downsizing from you know living and working and being in a you know city and all that jazz I had accumulated a lot of stuff in my life and I had a couple moves where I sold houses and I downsized how much stuff I had. And then coming out here to the RV and living in the woods uh, with no electricity, no running water. Well, I had electricity in that I had solar panels and batteries, but wasn't going to be running no uh, juicers or blenders or electric coffee pots or alarm clocks or any of that stuff. But I did have enough electricity to charge my phone to make these here silly videos and my uh, minute 30 meditations but I guess the thing I'm learning is I can enjoy life as much or more with very little stuff 
uh, packing to go back to Texas here for at least the next five or six months. The farm Prius is all I've needed and that includes the hillbilly hot tub and the tools I'm going to need to do a remodeling of a house while I'm down there in Texas. And so I don't really have to have that much and I'm okay. And when I was out here, I didn't need to have the television or the radios or the... I just got some peace and quiet and I didn't have much material stuff. I didn't have all the things that I had learned to use in no air conditioning, a little propane heater in the winter. But it was really a pretty simple and joyful and much more peaceful life than I've had in a long time. And I hope that I can continue the same with very little as I go back to Texas and uh, remodel this house. Anyway, I'm loving learning life's lessons. I hope that you've loved learning some of them with me here in Michigan. And I think I'll continue to do this while Horatio does some videos on homesteading and the like. I'll keep doing my Homer blend from down in Texas and maybe we'll get back to some of them Facebook live shows. Uh, but anyway, I'm loving learning life's lessons. Have fun in all that you do. Practice a little patience. And remember, you can do and be as happy as you want with very little. That's my life lessons for the day. Uh, just saw you like an update on the property. Don't forget to like and subscribe us here at Peace Eden Homestead and soon Peace Eden Homestead South. Uh, we'll be posting, publishing videos to this channel and uh, catch us on occasion at the Chime Travelers on the Facebook group. A lot of great musicians there and we add a little bit of hillbilly hope and get us hillbilly aesthetic gander humor and uh, hope you enjoy the view. This is how Peace of Eden got its name, the Little Creek. And I guess I'm belaboring this goodbye at the Peace of Eden. Just thought you lag update on property.